Hello friends and welcome to the channel. In today's episode, I will be sort of unboxing this new tool I received from Dispay a few months ago. Now this is the Super Glue Application Stand Combo Set. That's quite a mouthful. And it's actually proven to be quite useful. Is it something for everyone? Well, no, not really, but it has found a home on my workbench and I have been using it quite a bit. In fact, some of my regular viewers will probably recognize this from some of my past build videos. And today, I'm going to go into some details and also give you some personal feedback on it. Now, before we get started, I wanna give a quick shout out to all of my current subscribers and say, thank you so very much for your subscriptions and your support for the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy this content, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Your subscription and support is very appreciated. And as always, feel free to engage with me in the comments and share this video with others. I'd also like to remind you to check out my online shop. There you'll find a variety of scale model themed merchandise, all designed by me, a fellow scale model builder. It's a fantastic way to show off your support and passion for our hobby. Now that we've covered that, let's dive right in. Now, as I said, this is sort of an unboxing. And what I mean by that is basically my initial unboxing video had some really bad audio problems in it. So I pretty much had to scrap all the audio out of it. And well, you can't really un unbox something. So I just went ahead and started using it. Now, with that said, I'm going to do some video editing and patchwork. And hopefully in the end, you will find this interesting and informative. So I'll start off by showing you some clips of the actual unboxing with just some voiceover and hopefully it'll all make sense in the end. So here we go. And for your reference, this is part number AT-GA. And as with all of the other display products I've reviewed on the channel, the packaging for this one is really top notch. Now the contents of the box do include the base, a package of seven stainless steel applicators, two stainless steel posts, and one self-adhesive rubber anti-slip pad for the bottom of the base. Now, the base itself is made from a nice chunk of aluminum, and it looks and feels really nice. The addition of the slots work well for holding the applicators in between use. The seven stainless steel applicators come sandwiched between two pieces of sticky film. This is nice because you don't have to cut the applicators off this little square. You just simply peel one off and save the rest to use later. These two stainless steel posts fit into the base really well. And this is where you're actually going to apply your super glue. It's nice that they actually include two of these because you may find yourself in a situation where you actually need two different viscosities of super glue. You can put a thin viscosity super glue on this side and then a thick gel type viscosity super glue on the other. Now, once you have your station all set up, it's very easy to use. You simply place some super glue on top of one of the posts and use one of the stainless steel applicators to pick up some glue and then deposit it on your part. The applicators work really well. They hold a good amount of glue and they make it really easy to deposit it right where you need it. Now, I have been using this for a while and I have actually made some changes to mine. More on that later. As for cleanup when you're done, what I do is I simply take a lighter and heat up the end and it'll burn off all of the excess super glue. As for the posts, once it's dry, you can scrape it off with a knife or you can also use a lighter to burn it off as well. Now, as I stated earlier, this tool isn't gonna be for everyone. And it's not really a tool you need to have. We've all developed our own ways of using and applying super glue that works well for each of us. I myself would typically use an old plastic lid to deposit my super glue on and then use a toothpick to apply it. That said, this new tool has definitely improved my accuracy when it comes to applying super glue. And having a dedicated place for my super glue does have its advantages. One example of this is I would typically use the same lid for super glue that I'm also using as a paint palette. Since super glue is clear, there have been a few times when I have accidentally mixed paint and super glue together. And let me tell you, 
super glue can instantly destroy a paintbrush. So my overall opinion of this tool is a pretty positive one. I like having a dedicated place for my super glue. I also like the size of it. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's easy to clean and to take care of, and the applicators are very nicely designed and well-made. There is also the price to consider. You can pick up one of these from Newtype, link in the description, for about 16 bucks, which I think is a very fair price for what you're getting. As for the applicators, if you take care of them, they should last you a long time. And speaking of the applicators, this was my one issue. I personally struggled with it, but I finally figured out a way to make it work better for me. The applicators are pretty small, and with my big hands, I found myself struggling to get the applicator to deposit the super glue where I wanted it. I would also frequently get the applicator glued to something like the base or something else because I didn't quite make it in the little storage slot. My solution was a simple one. I basically took the applicator and bent the back end back over itself to make it shorter. I then took an old hobby knife handle that I had and fitted it in there and tightened it up. This made it real easy for me to control it and also get the glue exactly where I wanted it. And also, when I sat it down on the bench, it didn't glue itself to anything. And as an added bonus, the protective cover for the hobby knife still fits over it. So I can protect the tip of my applicator even when I'm not using it. So there you have it, friends. Another pretty cool tool from Dispay. Now, is this a tool you might be interested in using? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, on the screen is a scannable QR code. You can scan with your phone or a tablet, which will take you right to the new type website where you can purchase one of these for yourself. I will also leave a link in the description below. So that concludes this episode, friends. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. If so, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, be safe out there and go build something.